From CrossFit Shambly, Albert Dominic LaRouche. All right. All right, guys, here we go. The final heat of the weekend, East Coast Championships. We've got 10 of the top, or 12 top athletes of the weekend have made it to the final event. Big names coming out of this. In 12th place right now, Brendan, Brendan Fjord from Ute CrossFit. 11th place, Albert Dominic LaRouche from CrossFit Shambly. 10th place, Joe Kearney from CrossFit MF. 9th place, Spencer Handel from Reebok CrossFit Medfield. 8th place, Charles LeDuc from CrossFit Reebok Yule. 7th place, place, Noah Olson from Peak 30, 360 CrossFit. 6th place, Chris Spieler from CrossFit Park City. 5th place, Daniel Tominski from CrossFit Lindy. 4th place, Jordan Troyan from CrossFit Rage. Third place, Austin Meliola from Reebok, CrossFit One. Second place, Tommy Hackenbrook from U CrossFit. And in the lead, Matt Frazier from Champlain Valley CrossFit. These are our top athletes. What is in store for them, Tanya? They, they have four rounds before them of seven muscle ups and then 50 double unders. And then here's the fun. Each of the four rounds, they're gonna be approaching a, a barbell, an axle bar. And the first time they approach the bar, they're gonna do 40 deadlifts. They're gonna go back and do seven more muscle ups, 50 more double unders, and then 30 front squats on that axle bar. Seven muscle ups, 50 double unders, and then 20 shoulder to overhead. And then again, final round, the fourth round, seven muscle ups, 50 double unders, and 10 thrusters, all with the axle bar weighing 155 pounds. So as these athletes go uh, onto this event, they're gonna advance along, so we're gonna see them come back to their muscle-ups each time onto those rings. The double-unders are gonna be done on their mat, but we're gonna see the barbell move, so we'll be able to watch and follow along as these guys move on to the workout, move through the workout. This is what they came here for. This is the final event, the fifth event, just announced last night. Most of these guys, none of these guys did this workout. Ben just announced it last night before they went home to get their night's rest for today's competition. All right, when we see this happen right here, top three athletes right now to watch, Matt Frazier, Tommy Hackenbrook, and Austin Maliola. These are the top three. Let's see if they can hang on to those positions. Here we go, three, two, one, go. A lot of guys holding on for these muscle ups. Tommy's taking a break, breaking him up right from the start. Could be a strategy for him. See Noah starting on those double unders off to the left of your screen. Right next to him, Chris Spieler. This is for the podium, though. These guys, they want to get off to a good start, a good lead, and hold on to their lead. Noah Olson onto the deadlifts first from P360 CrossFit. Thicker bar for the deadlifts is going to be a little different for your grip. He has a mixed grip, alternating grip. One hand is going one direction. The palm of the hand is going the other direction. Just helps out the grip, especially when the bar is that thick. It's 40 deadlifts here. 
There's our current leader right there off the left in the red shorts, Matt Frazier, trying to hold on to his top position. Austin Arms Maliolo in lane three. He's known for his long arms. The guys always say he's not fair. His deadlift, his range of motion is ridiculously short. So he's gonna make up some time right here. Try to advance, gaining some time. Daniel Tominski right there. The athletes must move their barbell. It's their choice when they want to move it, if they want to move it right away, or they can move it the next time that they come up to approach the bar, but they have to move it at some point. All right, Noah on to his second round of muscle-ups. There's Matt dragging himself back to the rings. He knows he's got to hold on. He's on the top of the podium right now. He's trying to make it there for this final event. Now, as long as he can keep this space, knowing where Noah is a few places down, he's and okay. And there's Chris off the left, Chris Spieler. Muscle-ups, pretty easy for a guy like him to do these, and he moves on right into the double unders. Not too far away, Noah, Chris. Remember, Chris, Chris's timing, Chris's awareness of his body, he knows how to move, he knows how to pace, he looks relaxed and composed. There's our current leader, Matt Frazier, getting finished with his last, his uh, second round of muscle-ups. And Noah finishes and moves on. Next up for Noah, 30 front squats. Now with the axle bar, some people feel that the axle bar actually helps out in a front squat. You can keep it a little tighter on your neck. And you can see, you see he squat, clean that first rep, that's totally fine. But it's always easier if you can keep that barbell close to your throat as you squat. There's Austin Meliola getting ready for his front squats as well. And Austin chooses not to even hold on to the bar, just goes to that front genie-like position with his arms. A lot of times people use that when they have a lack of flexibility, either in their wrists, their shoulders. Matt Fraser also choosing with that uh, cross grip, getting started on his front squats. Often with a skinnier bar, so, ooh, Matt drops the bar there. Don't know if that was uh, an intended break. Looks like he switched back to the regular grip, so he's gonna hold on to that. And you can see he only has a few fingers underneath the bar. With a thicker bar, it is hard to even hold on. Some men only get one finger underneath the bar to stabilize or to hold it there. Tommy's got a back squat, current PR of 550 pounds, so this uh, little bar should have no, pose no problem for him. See these gentlemen breaking up the sets, walk, the sets, walking away from the bar. Right now you're looking at a real tight race along the board there, pretty much the whole field onto those front squats. So it's gonna be a pretty close battle. These athletes know they have to conserve that power, but they have to get this done as fast as possible. And with each barbell movement, there's less time, less reps that they have to make up that ground. So it's a tight race right now and it's only gonna get tighter. Also in the back of their minds, they know this is the last event. This is it, all or nothing for some of these guys. That's what's a little different. Sometimes competitions are two-day events, sometimes they're one, but on these one-day events, it's the final day. They're, they're exhausted. They started early morning. They've been through, this is their fifth workout of the day. It's sometimes hard to get up for that last workout when you've done so much. And it looks like Austin Maliola is gonna be the first one back for his third round of muscle-ups. He's catching his breath, walking slowly to get back to the rings. And you always have the luxury as the first place guy looking around knowing you can take a little more rest Get yourself in a good position before you're ready to go. Noah Olson also back on his third round of muscle-ups. Close behind him, Chris Spieler. 
Again, Matt Fraser green. off to the right, our current leader in the red shorts. He is a strong performance this weekend. He wants that podium. He just made up some time there for sure on the front squats. Now when they finish up their double unders after the muscle ups, they're gonna be heading back to the bar and they're gonna be doing 20 shoulders to overhead with the axle bar. All right, Chris, on to those double unders. Austin Melio having to take a break. That might have cost them that position. Tommy Hackenbrook there in the gray getting started on his rounds of muscle ups. Difficult for a guy his size, 210 pounds Tommy weighs in at. So a little bit more of a challenge for a guy like him. But you know, it is challenging when you're that tall, but he doesn't seem to have too much of a problem. He doesn't even use that much of a kip. He really does more of a ring row and just really fast. He's, his turnover, through that transition is very quick. There's Noah Olsen also staying out front of the pack right now, finishing up his double unders. Again, another highlight for Noah was 2013, he placed third in, he tied for third in Wadapalooza 2013. That's another known event. A lot of top athletes go there to perform, to compete. It looks like right now it's a battle up front with the two guys with their shirts off, Chris Spieler and Noah Olson. Chris setting up for his 20 reps of shoulder to overhead. Austin Maliola off to your center there into the, into the black attire there, working for his 20 reps of shoulder to overhead. Our current leader off to the left here, Matt Fraser with his red shorts on. Looks like he's making quick work of those shoulder to overhead. Good technique out of him. Matt has great technique and his pace is just on fire. He's able to drop quickly underneath that bar. That was great for Matt. Real strong. Daniel Tominski as well, working close on his uh, last set of shoulder overhead. Again, and this bar Chris Spieler is going to move on first. Setting that bar down for his thrusters, moving in for his last set of. Uh, his, his final set of muscle ups and double unders. Chris takes a casual walk over. It looks like we might see a comeback from our man Chris Spieler here. Awesome performance by Chris. Again, this is 155 on the bar. This is Chris's body weight. It just shows what an amazing athlete, how strong he is, what an amazing competitor he is. The field of men on this floor, there's not one guy out there that weighs what Chris weighs, and Chris just ripped that bar from his shoulders overhead. Holding on for the muscle ups. And he's got two more muscle ups to go before he finishes. And he had to break him up there. So a guy like Chris having to break him up, it's going to be a, a pretty big uh, upset there if he can't make it through. Austin Meliolo right behind him, finishing up his muscle ups. There, Chris back on the rings. It's smart. Chris knows what he needs to do. He knows when to break, where he's at. And there he moves on. Chris in the beard and the no shirt. Moving on to his last set of double unders. Nice and composed. He has one more. One more thing to do, he has to get to that thruster bar, for, he has to get to the axle bar for 10 thrusters now. Daniel Tominski heading back for his final set of muscle ups. And all the way out there in the end, Brendan Fjord. There's Chris Spieler working through his double unders. He'll go unbroken for these. Oh, I stand corrected. I think he said to his judge, five more. Slight trip up, no big deal. He needs to get to that bar. All right, Chris Spieler moves on to his final set of thrusters. Giving the spectators a show, what they love to see. Chris Spieler out in the lead. 
10 thrusters separates this man from the finish line. Let's see if he can go unbroken. And sitting in sixth place right now, this is gonna be huge for him with a first place finish. And he got six thrusters done. He needs four to go. Can he pick it up? Can he beat Noah? Noah right behind him, hungrier. Chris needs to get that barbell back overhead and finish these last five thrusters. All he has is four thrusters to go. Right underneath us, Austin Meliola, same, trying to overtake Noah Olsen. And there's Chris Spieler finishing up with 11.58. Incredible 11 performance. That was incredible. Amazing performance by Chris Spieler, the legend. So inspiring, going from sixth place. That first place finish will definitely move him up. And Noah Olsen with his last two reps. Very strong. We saw a great performance from him starting out. Slowed down a bit there at the end. That's where Chris got him. Matt Fraser also finishing up. Matt with a uh, first place standing right now, currently overall, and uh, not bad finish on this workout. So we'll see how the uh, judges' scorecards pan out, but it's looking good for Matt. Jordan Tryon here finishing up. He's in fourth place, looking to climb up to that podium. Right behind him, Daniel Tominski. And Dan Tominski, actually, he's jerking that bar as he goes up with a thruster. Not only 155 is heavy for a thruster, but you put it on an axle bar, a thick bar, it makes another challenge to get that bar locked out overhead. And Troyon takes it. Right, Charles Le Duke finishing up strong, representing Reebok CrossFit Yule. There's our big, strong competitor, Tommy Hackenbrook. Hacks Pack Youth, that's Tommy, their coach, leader, team captain. And there's Tommy's finish, 13.57. Spencer Hendel there in the pink shirt, finishing up strong as well. There is a 20 minute time cap on this particular event, so we'll see if some of these athletes need it. These athletes are beat down. That was a hard workout. Heavy barbell for those thrusters to finish up the workout. Joe Kearney there from CrossFit MF, trying to get his last round of shoulder to overheads done. The crowd cheering for him, as the crowd always does. They typically cheer louder for the last guy finishing up than they do for the first place guy. All right, Joe Kearney representing CrossFit MF real well with a strong performance this weekend. Gonna set his bar back down and looking in for his last round of muscle ups, double unders, and thrusters. Not, a, not often opportunity that you can have uh, in the middle of a workout throwing down with all these top athletes cheering you on. So we're gonna see, uh, maybe see some big things out of uh, Joe Kearney here to finish strong. To have Spencer Hendel right there cheering you on and coaching you has to be motivating.
able to string together quite a few here. He's going to hold on. Two muscle-ups to go. Got a big crowd supporting him to try to finish this workout in less than 20 minutes. So he's got a 20-minute time cap. Two more muscle-ups to go. And he's moving on to his double-unders. He's breathing hard. Three minutes to go before the time cap. He's got a pretty big support system out there. And he knows what lies ahead with that barbell. We saw him struggle a bit with those shoulder to overhead. Now he's going to have to take that barbell, axle barbell, all the way down from the bottom of the squat and get it overhead. He'll need to break that up and be smart if he plans to finish underneath this time cap. Right, two and a half minutes to go before the time cap. All right, he moves on to his thrusters. This is where he's going to need the support right here. Ten thrusters. All he has remaining, you can see the exhaustion in his face. But to be in this heat, Miles, to be in the heat with all these guys, top 12 right here. He made it through the entire day. This is it. <laughs> he needs some help. He's rallying the troops he here. Does. Joe Kearney from CrossFit MF representing well into his last set of thrusters. And looking strong, stronger here than he did for shoulder overhead. Four reps. Nice, into it. real nice Five. form. Here we go. Solid finish. Eight, he's gonna go unbroken. Nine, one more rep. Real oh, strong, oh. One rep to go. Got a little one low there in the bottom. Seconds. He's gonna make it, he needs to get back on that bar. Good, <laughs> there he does it. <laughs> With the support of the other competitors and crowd. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the final heat of the men. We're gonna have to see what the scorecards do for the final standings, but what an exciting turn of events there. The women are not too far behind, so stay tuned. The final heat for the ladies are up next.